Alan Gretchen Whitmer and the people who protect and surround Michigan's governor were on the final target list, according to newly filed federal court records. The accused militia leader allegedly heard on tape, they're going to die, period. But tonight, new information that Whitmer, her security and aides were not the only original targets. In the early planning and training stages for the attack, federal agents say radical militiamen were not set on a specific target. This newly filed court record suggests a much broader target list, with accused ringleader Adam Fox quoted as saying, we need to get these blanking governors and arrest them and put them on trial for their crimes and their violations of the Constitution. Authorities tonight suspect the original plan was to kidnap numerous liberal governors who were seen by the militia group as going too far in cracking down on COVID then early in the pandemic. But as the alleged plot progressed, the core group of more than a dozen militia operatives zeroed in on Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, according to U.S. authorities. They allegedly put her summer home in northern Michigan under surveillance, had a plan to blow up the bridge near her family's home. Investigators now say a sniper team armed with high-powered rifles and infrared scopes would be positioned to take down the governor's security detail before kidnapping her. And tonight, in this new court record, the chill words alleged from Adam Fox that they want to have the governor hogtied laid out on a table while we all pose around just like we made the world's biggest drug bust, bro. The plot was never carried out, interrupted by FBI agents and some federal operatives who were working undercover inside the militia group. Fox and many of the other accused in the alleged plot have pleaded not guilty to conspiracy, kidnapping, and weapons of mass destruction charges. They contend this case was a lot of boasting and tough talk and that they were entrapped by undercover agents. Not buying that, a federal judge in western Michigan this week denied their motion to dismiss the charges. Trial currently set for March 8th.